Hey YouTube, um, in this video uh, I'm going to be showing you the Creator Pack 2. Uh, well, not the official one, but the one that has stuff uh, that was found by Fatty Macintosh and Smuffy04. So, and they put together a level that kind of gives away some really cool stuff in Little Big Planet 1, and also most of them work in 2 and 3, so that's cool. Alright, so uh, to get to this level, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your controller, and uh, on LEP1 you want to go to search, search text, and you want to type in Fatty McIntosh's name. So you want to type in F-A-T-T-Y-M-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. So I want to search that, and you'll find his levels. You probably won't find the level itself, so you need to just go on one, hit square, and go up to his name, and you should see it right here. Alright, so let's play it. Here we go. Okay, so here it is. Introduction. Nice. Okay, so here's the first thing. Uh, this is the uh, you can read it, but is the game sensor. It tells if you are on LBP one or LBP two. So it's pretty cool. So here's some stuff about it. Um, so basically, you can have stuff in your level be different if you're on either one, two, or three, or whatever, so it's pretty cool. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the, it'll, it'll show up a little later, but this, oh yeah, right here, um, this just puts this message in your level, so if you just place this block anywhere in your level, then you will get that message every so often, just like the, uh, real tutorials. Okay, so here's some, uh, secret materials. Um, so this one's cool. I think it looks like the LP1 pod background a little bit, but it looks awesome. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry, queen. Whoops, here we go. Okay. Uh, poppet material, or poppet metal, which kind of looks like the, uh, different shape icons in the poppet. So that's cool. Oh yeah, and it stickers really well, so you can do that. There's a secret down there. Alright, so here's the game ender. Uh, as you read, it will uh, put you back to the pod, just like the uh, Little Big Planet 2 game ender and stuff. Which is really awesome. So put it in the emitter and you can do that. And here's some more information about it, which you can see, or pause, or whatever. Alright, so to the next... Okay. <laughs> Continue. Okay. We got this. Oh, jeez. Bye. He'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Here is a... Uh, a deep sound object so it has deeper sounds than usual so you can get some sounds that have never been heard before in LVP which is pretty cool um, I've heard that if you uh, select a game or no if you select a um, what is it an LP3 sound object, and that one you can put any sound in there, which is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna do the level ender route here, just to show how that works. So here's the thing, and we'll be teleported up just like the introduction level in moments. Here we go. It's really cool. Must play. Brilliant. 
Awesome. Okay. So, um, there you go. Now we're gonna go to the moon real quick and just look at them real quick. Okay, so these uh, tools are going to be in your community objects, so here all them are. Um, here's the game uh, sensor, so you can tell which one is which, or which uh, game you're playing. And that can be cool for setting up, you know, different stuff, or you, know, you can use that creatively. Let's see here. We got the tutorial thing. So now every once in a while it'll give us that message. Uh, here's this dark glass and the pop it metal. Which are really cool. I like those. And let's sticker it. Nice. Here's the uh, sound object. Um, I think in LEP 1, it's kind of stuck on these sounds, but as I said before, you can change them. And it's just kind of lower than usual, so you can do all that crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, whoops. Say that again? Sorry. So... Oh. Don't want to do that yet. <laughs> and this is the thing. I did. But, uh, again, you have to place down the, uh, the, um, sound object from LEP3, and you highlight them both, or select them both, and then you should be able to change the sounds, right? And they'll still have that lower pitch to it. Yep, okay. Alright, and uh, here's the key that makes the uh, game sensor possible. And it's also a key that's not given out. It's the challenge key. Alright, so anyway. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the cool stuff that was given away. Oh yeah. It's like you pick it up and it's cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this stuff. Um, this was found and put together by Fatty Macintosh and Smuffy04. So heart them and all that, and subscribe to them and stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> all right. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Twitter at GlitchMaster7. Okay, goodbye.